Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Benedict Gaming channel today. We're gonna be doing episode, um, I'm not sure what episode it is actually. I should check that. It is, um, episode 7. So, that's lovely. We'll be playing as Peach once again today. And, yeah. Straight back into World 5, and we'll be starting off with World 5 5 Bob Alms Below. So the entire gimmick of this level is dying, apparently. No, it's, um, using these bob bombs to, um, destroy different parts of the level, or break things. So as you can see, you just take them, you throw them at different objects, and then they explode on impact. And you can get a lot of really nice stuff from it. Here I can take it and I can destroy that purple wall. And here I can throw it directly at that POW block. And I get a green star out of it. Lovely. I think on this. No. I'll throw it. There. Oh crap. That one up's fairly easy to get. And this little bunny, I don't like this little bunny. Oh, Peach is so much faster in the Switch version, I love it so much. Right. Now I'll take this, explode that wall. Stamp as simple as that. I do love how you destroy things to grab your green stars and stamps in this level. I think it's very nice. And next up, we can just hop into this little cloud. And it's another one of those. Oh! I didn't know that it was going to be like this one. I was expecting to be running around the cloud. Not this type of cloud level. But we will be um, making an 8 bit version of Mario out of these pieces. Grab that time piece. gotten the green star. Absolutely perfection. Yeah. Now, it's just a straight shot to the finish line where we hopefully don't die. Now this part, this is a bit tricky. I think the key is to pick up this bomb and throw it directly at the top. Yeah, that's probably it. That worked out in our favor. Lovely. In this episode, we're gonna be going to the castle, and then next time, we'll be taking on the next world, World 6, which is one of my personal favorite worlds. A lot of interesting levels in that one. Ooh, it's another stamp house. And I forget what this part is for. Oh, it's a tunnel. Or it's no, not a tunnel, a pipe. Oh, sorry. One of these overworld bosses, the Fire Bros. Their hideout number two. <laughs> So, we're just gonna wanna stand on the platform. 
without dying. I said without dying. Apparently I can't even live up to my own advice. But no. Very simple. Just pop up here. Ground pound down. Oh, I guess you don't need to ground pound. As soon as you hit the Goomba, or the fire bro, the Goombas just disappear. What you could have also done was grabbed like a boomerang flower, a tanuki leaf, a cat thing, whatever, and destroyed the Goombas underneath him until um, the fire bro came down to the ground. But I think that's probably the easiest method. The quickest one, at least, for sure. So we'll go on over to 5 6. This one. Um, this is a very interesting level. It's. It's a very, it's a little bit difficult if you're not sure how to do it properly. Because when you jump, those platforms change. So you really gotta time it well and get used to how it works. And it's definitely best in this level to try and walk distances as much as you can. Like here, you can walk that. Perform little rolls. I think that was a bit unnecessary, but here is a very interesting part where you have where um, you jump up onto the platforms. I think there's something here. Surely there is. No, I guess not. Huh? Strange. Now, let's pop the Goomba on the head, and just go straight into another level. Oh, this one is difficult, I tell ya. What you're gonna wanna do here is pop that. That was wrong, but that'll work also. And then you just keep on going. That's not the difficult part, though. I think there's a moment er um, later on in the game where you need to do that with two balls rolling down at once. And that's what I was referring to when I said it was difficult. Because that part's definitely a bit of a challenge. Oh. No. No. Ah. Not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. We can try that again, though. stop a bit at the beginning. So what you're gonna want to do is grab these two. Um, grab these two. Oh, and I just missed the last one. No. Surely it'll only take one more try. Come on now. I'm gonna time it right with how that goes up. Okay, I think that was pretty good. Um, and then, yes! No! Oh, I got it! Okay, good, good, good. Now we can just keep progressing on. Oh, I'm so happy that I just nabbed it. And. Ooh, I'm gonna need to grab the. Joy-Con here. You can see I have, I have two controllers and I will take this one and join in a second player. And now I can use this second player to pop on over here. Grab the stamp. And then we can finish off the level just like that. A bit tricky. I'm not used to using the single Joy-Con, and we got it. No worries, no worries in the slightest. Alright, pop that back on the Joy. Pop that back on the Switch itself, and we can go back to our one player. What? How, how did that? 
the second player get it? Ah. Oh. Oh. Don't understand it. All right. Grab a stamp from the stamp house. Oh, it's the little orange fairy. I like her. And now we can go over to this beauty of a level 5-7. And then after that, I believe there is one more pipe that we can build and then we'll go on to the castle this one's gonna be um, very tricky for me because I do not at all remember where the stars and stamps are Oh yeah, so we gotta use that to jump up here. And is that the first one? Yeah, it is. Alright, I felt like there was one that did that. Okay, now hop on over to this spot, and then I think we go down to grab our second item, no? Okay. Oh yeah, here's the stamp. Very easy to grab. And then you're gonna want to get one of these bullet bills to smash this ball, and that'll be our second green star. Very simple, very easy one. As long as the bullet bills don't smash your platforms, you'll be in business. And now, okay. no way I could have grabbed that. I did that awfully. Oh no. Oh. Bullet bills to smash this, please. Smash this, my people. Come on. One more. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good job, friends. Okay, and now we're in business. Final stretch of the level. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Love, lovely. You love to see it. And we're done. Is there another section that you need to build? Yes, there is. I wonder what this one is. Oh, it's this. This is cool. You can build that one pipe that I don't know where it leads to, but I will check it out. And then you can also build this pipe, which leads to a golden train. This level, always loved it so much. I don't think there's any green stars or anything to collect. You kind of just focus on getting coins, but it's such so, it's so interesting. No, come on. Up, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, come on, Peach. <laughs> don't be dazed and confused. Yes, Captain Toad, the man, the myth, the legend, Captain Toad himself. I wonder if there's anything here. I always like to stand on these little... Oh, no! Oh, yes. Oh, stand at the front, get that beautiful camera angle. And then we can just pop on to the end here. Don't remember what's in this. Oh, it's a slot machine. Ah. So we need a flower. Yes? Yes? Yes! 
Let's go. Let's go. I never do that. I never get all of those. That's so lovely. Oh, that, that feels good. Yo, it's April and it's snowing outside. I just noticed that. That my window and there it is. I wonder what this pipe leads to. Oh, it leads you back here. Huh. And then if we go back here. What does this other pipe lead to? Oh, at least to the beginning of the game. Huh. That's interesting how they all connect. Now let's pop back into this. And go to the castle. That's heavy snow outside too. Yo. these two okay perfect sometimes i have a little trouble with that but it's probably some of the easiest green star coin collecting stuff in the video game oh my god oh the plays let's go okay here we're gonna grab a cat suit that we need for this level stamp up here and then we can grab that green star down there. The green stars and stamps in this level are very not well hidden. I'll say that. Okay. Is it that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad that that green star respawns so quickly. Oh no. Oh, we need that cat suit for the final green star. That's um... That's very not ideal. As you can see, we need that cat suit. So, but I'm not gonna bother to go back in. If I die on the boss fight, and if it, and it sends me back, then I'll bother. But if not, then we'll just go on. I think this guy's name is um, King King something King Kaklunk or something along those sorts. So what you're going to want to do is line him up so that he lands on you with his belly facing up. That's, an, that's the entire thing with this boss fight. And then you can just jump on it, and that's one hit, one out of three. And then he's going to kind of ground pound in a way and destroy two pieces of ground. And then you jump again. Destroy more. And keep one. Perfectly reasonable, perfectly easy. Okay. And we'll go back into the mystery box of mysteries. We'll continue on with our game. Grab the little mystical fairy princess. And that's it. So. I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe on all my videos. Bye! -bye.